So this is our, our sixth and final instructional video uh, uh, for CADEX Inject 4.0. So in a normal event, we have an, an update in the morning and one in the evening. And typically in a, bad, in a bad storm, you'll have a little fleet movement going on in the morning and a lot more in the afternoon with more states declaring emergencies in some cases and more fleets involved, more companies involved. So this, uh, this Inject is going to focus on you using the Storm Central website and the fleet movement uh, matrix, which is which will be updated in a real-world environment. So again, the same process happens. You click the Go to Inject button, and you'll go to the web site for Inject 4.0. Again, on the right, lots of good background instructional information. We want you to focus here on the expected player actions and the update on the storm. I'll give you an idea. We've had three new states declare more more fleet movements going on certainly and, and a, maybe in a multiple sectors so when you're ready take action now you'll go right into the size so in a normal environment you'd go right to the size log in and boom you're on the you can monitor the 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 daily dashboard if you click on this it'll open up the dashboard and you can monitor the weather along with uh, you know 25 30 other states uh, this also has winds this has flooding this has uh, a fantastic uh, coastal marine uh, let me give you that one here. I thought this was really interesting. This is kind of the marine observations. Thousands and thousands of data points that monitor tidal flooding. It's amazing. There's also river flooding in here that goes through. Um, where did, here's the river flooding. So this tells me, you see these dots here? That gives me an idea of where the indication of where there could be river flooding. So let me zoom in here just for now for Wyoming. So you can see there's river flooding potential right there. And if I click on this, Let's see if it opens up. Okay, so here we go. This gives me river flooding is either occurring or eminent in this area. So this is fantastic data run by NOAA, the National Weather Service, but a lot of other uh, organizations are part of this as well. So we're going to go to the Storm Central website again. We'll hover over this. We'll click on the exercise. It loads the page. We'll have newly updated disasters uh, declarations, and we'll have a newly updated spreadsheet as well. Okay. So what we wanted to do was show you Storm Central is a key page that we monitor the status of documentation and information and data. It all comes right out of the SICE dashboard. So you can see as we continue to use the SICE dashboard, we'll develop more apps as we go forward. Uh, we're working on about 17 new ones. We'll regroup and reorganize these a little bit as we get better at it. But the whole idea is we develop we develop solutions to problems that occur. The private sector sets the table and the states work together to help. So when you're done, you come back to the email, which is right here. You click the feedback button. You go to the page. You read the, you read the question. You click on whatever answer is relevant to you, and boom, you're done. So that completes Inject 4. That completes your exercise, and we appreciate you. <laughs> and we appreciate getting tugged tight here. Appreciate you all taking time to go through this. We welcome your feedback, and we'll have a, we'll have a couple of follow-on meetings internally uh, to collect all that stuff and share it with you. Thanks again.